This offseason stretches out. The more and more I like what the San Francisco Giants have done. And uh, bl- uh, breaking, Snell to the Giants, 62 million, two years. The Giants got a lot better with Blake Snell. This is the video about Jung-Hoo Lee, the KBO superstar from the Kiwoom Heroes who just signed a six-year, $113 million contract to play for the San Francisco Giants. You look at that rotation and, and some of those options and you start to like it. And even like the Jordan Hicks, um, you know, going into that rotation. Let's go. The Giants have signed Matt Chapman to a three-year $54 million deal. And it's an actual power hitter coming to the Bay Area. And it's Jorge Soler. He's got a chance to be the first Giant since Barry Bonds to hit 30 homers in a season. And he can handle Oracle Park. If somebody can do it, it's Jorge. High fly ball to left and good. Soler with a monster blast into left. Bolosmida, Nokke, Sokko, Chosmida, Oroch, Diro, Gamida. Tang, 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 Mamasu! He does. Deep to right. And out of here. It's a fun watch. Chapman goes the other way. Liriano looking up. And it is out of here. The 1 1. Bailey drives it to center field. Nimmo going back. Nimmo still going back at the wall. It's gone! Patrick Bailey's done it again! Conforto wraps one towards the gap. And it is out of here! Pitch to Ahmed. He swings and belts it out to left field. Hit well. Going back on in Langford. He's at the track. Look it up! It's gone! Hit high! Hit deep! Out of here! Back to back. Any more but I drive to left. At the wall. Over the wall. Out of here. High drive! Right field! It is out of here! And we are going home! And he got him! Ten strikeouts and a complete game shutout for Logan Webb. 105 strikeouts. He has that wipe you out stuff. Strike three call. Got him. Got him. And that'll end the inning. Allen with a swing and a miss. I, I'd say Hicks could be tough to hit to take over the, the National League West. Swing and a miss. Another strikeout for Snell. That Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a splitter. Got him. It's the best stuff he's had all month. Yeah, so that's eight up, eight down. Swing! Swing and a miss. 3-0 to a strikeout. Two down. Two strike pitch. 3-2 to Quan again. Swing and a miss. He got him. Good breaking ball. One down. This is, this is what you're going to see. You can see Tracer has that ball just off the plate, but he's getting that fastball at 96 will speed you up, and there's a slaughter. Got him. Got him, and that's the ball game. High drive! Left field! It is out of here! High drive! Left! has hit a mile way back into left field hello Berkeley first home run of the year Joey Bart fly ball hit well toward the left field corner this is deep Peralta's back near the fence that ball is gone Tyler Fitzgerald is in his first major league home run Slater drives one center field Zelensky back out of here welcome back Austin Slater Luciano going the other way to right. That'll drop in for a base hit. Sliding stop by Verdugo in right. Conforto holding it third. Defense. High drive. Down the left field line. Out of here. And this game is over.
baseball. The 2024 season is here, ladies and gentlemen. Opening day. It is on. And uh, one of my lights just went out. What is up, Giants for life? What's going on, everybody? Welcome in. Stephen Ortega, AM Echo, Jenny, uh, Jenny Vega, Papa Chone, Raymond Solis, Felix Orozco, Jason Corona. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys for jumping in. Here we go. We got lineups. We got opening day roster to check out for the Giants. Fendi mashups. They did Matos dirty. You know Matos? Yeah, I was hoping he'd make the opening day roster. We'll check it out. Matos is a beast. Um, and let's check it out. Here we go, Matos. Jenny Vega, Rock East Wood. We got lineups. Um, and we got started off right with Jason Corona con 20 dólares. Let's start today off right. Absol freaking lutely unbelievable $20 super chat. I do appreciate that so much. And let's talk about this team. First of all, Joey Bart. He's on the rooster, man. Joey Bart has made the team. So congratulations to Joey Bart uh, uh, coming into this offseason and uh, spring training when the Giants signed Tom Murphy. It was pretty much a foregone conclusion. Everyone's talking about it's over. Uh, Matos, or not Matos, but Bart is uh, uh, not going to be making this team. Um, they'll be trading him or possibly releasing him before opening days, trying to get him through waivers or whatever. But his last day in the organization has not arrived yet. The Giants will open the season with three catchers. I said back in my 26-man roster prediction, I, I would do that. I didn't predict it to happen. They did it. It certainly won't happen all season long. Something's going to happen. Either someone's going to get hurt, I'm not hoping for that, or they're probably going to get rid of Bart. Tom Murphy's on a two-year contract. Patrick Bailey could get sent to the minors if he really struggles. That's the only other possibility. If Bart wins the job from Patrick Bailey, he's got a second opportunity or third or fourth, whatever, but he's got another chance here to prove himself. And Joey Bart will open the season on the roster with just 12 pitchers, including Blake Snell, not expected to pitch the first few games, but Blake Snell is on the roster. Landon Roop breaks camp. Landon Roop is a beast. I wanted him to be on this team. He is. So we'll see what he can do. And also the lefty, Eric Miller, um, had been optioned earlier. He's back. He has made the team as well. So Eric Miller with really good stuff. And uh, Marco Luciano was optioned. Luis Matos was optioned. Nick Ahmed, not surprisingly, is on the team alongside Matt Chapman. So... Very interesting. The Giants did place Ethan Small on the 60-day IL. Very disappointing because he was looking really good at one point. Designated Cooper Hummel for assignment, the former Mariner. Cooper Hummel, catcher, uh, didn't get a whole lot of opportunities in spring training, and he's been DFA'd, but not Bart. So let's check it out. Here's the team right here, the official team. The comments are rolling in. We got 35. We got 35. Play the youth trade, Yaz. Trade Slater. Jenny got the membership. Jenny, new member. We're coming hard on the members this year as well. And uh, thank you so much, Jenny Vega. I do have some story times about uh, some things that happened in spring training. I'm going to put out four members. Thank you so much for becoming a YouTube member. Pablo can catch and pitch. Yeah, Pablo didn't quite make it. Uh, just getting started. We just, just, just got started um, because I played a long five-minute video, which you can see on my channel if you missed it. The hype video, 2024 hype videos on my channel. If you missed it, you can check that out anytime. Um, what were we talking about again? Oh, yeah, the opening day roster. Let's get a closer look here. And Camilo Doval, Kyle Harrison, 
Jordan Hicks, Luke Jackson, and the first surprise, Eric Miller makes the team. Tyler Rogers, Taylor Rogers, Landon Roop, Blake Snell, Ryan Walker, Logan Webb, and Keaton Wynn. And our catchers will be Patrick Bailey, Tom Murphy, and Joseph Bart. Infield, Nick Ahmed, Matt Chapman, Tyro Estrada, Tyler Fitzgerald does make the team, Wilmer Flores, and Lamont Wade Jr. And I predicted that Austin Slater or Yaz would start the year on the IL. It didn't happen. Yaz might go on paternity leave here because he's uh, his wife is due to give birth, I think, tomorrow. But for now, Michael Conforto, Jung Hu Lee, Austin Slater, Jorge Soler, and Mike Yastrzemski. Very good-looking squad. Amazing offseason. Adding Jung Hu Lee, one of the biggest superstars in Korea. Adding one of the few guys who can actually hit 30-plus home runs at Oracle. And he's not going to hit all 30 at Oracle, but he can hit 30-plus home runs despite playing home games at Oracle. And I expect him to do that with Soler. You assign Nick Ahmed, who tore it up in camp, made the team out of spring training. Very nice job. Obviously, Matt Chapman, one of the best defensive, if not the best defensive third baseman in baseball. Uh, third baseman in baseball. Then you got, obviously, a good solid catcher in Tom Murphy. But the Cy Young Award winner, Blake Snell. He won't be pitching today or for the next few days. Today's matchup, Logan Webb, despite the poor camp, he is the opening day starter. And he will be facing off against you, Darvish, um, the veteran, solid pitcher. Thank you guys so much here. Eric, Jenny with the membership. Giants just got some solid players on the roster. Welcome to the club. Welcome to the club. That's a Tim McGraw song. Uh, all right, Jenny with a member. What's going on, Daniel Berry? Just saw the hype video. The hype video. Fitzgerald made the team, made the team. You know, I know what it's like to try to make a team. I wasn't, you know, a guaranteed. Back when I played in high school, I wasn't a guaranteed to make the team. I had good power. I was a good hitter, um, but it wasn't a guarantee. I remember when I made the team, it was a big, big day. It's a big moment when you make the team and uh, some people got cut and uh, it's really cool to make the team. And uh, feels good. I don't know what it feels like to get cut, but it uh, feels good to make the team. Snell will be pitching in a minor league game today. Oh, yo, oh, like in Arizona, I'm assuming. I don't think they've started the actual minor league seasons, but maybe the minor league camp, is that still going over there? I'm not really sure. But that's good that he's going to get some work in today. Um, Webb will be taking on Darvish. Let's get to the opening day lineups today for the Giants. Jung Hu Lee is the leadoff man in center field. He'll be followed by Soler DHing and then Wade Jr. Interesting that Soler is second and Wade Jr.'s third, but that might be trying to switch it up lefty, righty, lefty, righty, lefty, righty, lefty, uh, switch hitter and righty. So very much a diverse lineup as far as uh, batting left or right. So it goes back and forth. Wade Jr. is hitting third, and then it'll be the powerful Matt Chapman. I expect some good plays from him today at third base. Mike Yastrzemski does get the start in right field. Then it'll be Tyro at second base. And then Michael Conforto. Look at all that power there. Um, a lot of power potential in the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bats. And you could say Bailey, too, with good pop. Almost this entire lineup is a home run threat, except I'd say Ahmed, but he brings solid defense to short, so he'll be batting ninth. And that's your starting lineup for the Giants. For the Padres, you have Sander Bogards, Tatis Jr. and right, Cronenworth at first, Manny Machado DHing. This is still a very good team uh, offensively with Hasyong Kim at short, Jerkson Profar in left, Campusano doing the catching. He'll be followed by Wade at third, and then Merrill in center field. And this is interesting. This is Bob Melvin taking on his former team. He was just managing the Padres a few months ago, and here he is in a Giants uniform. So this is amazing. Um, glad to be starting off with Webb, keeping it real. Guys, we need the offense 100%. Hype tomorrow, Orange Friday tomorrow. Uh, first time in a few years I'm excited about opening day, and you should be. Let's go, fans. We've all been waiting. That lineup is whack. Estrada, six. 
Uh, maybe, you know, trying to keep some threats all throughout the lineup, you know, and it is something to be said for, you know, don't want to just go best to worst. And then all of a sudden the bottom of your order, you have no threats. And if an inning shows up where you have these six, seven, eight batters, um, you at least you have Estrada there. You have Conforto with some power. Bailey, I mean, it's, it's a well-rounded lineup. I get what you're saying, like Yaz ahead of Estrada. But I think it's also trying to rotate lefty, righty. Obviously, that's what he's trying to do here. It's pretty obvious that that's what's happening here. But um, we'll see how this lineup plays. We'll see how, how it goes. But the most important thing is how Webb pitches because Webb did not have the best spring training. And... Logan Webb, if he goes out there and gets lit by this Padres team, it's going to be a bad day. It's going to be a bad and sad day. But I do have confidence that he's going to have some more adrenaline out there, some more momentum going for him, being that this is the regular season. And uh, hopefully his stuff just elevates that much and we'll see a major difference. And, and then you Darvish is not exactly 100% guaranteed to uh, light up the Giants either. You Darvish obviously is you know, a great pitcher, but he's been around – for a long time, 37 years of age. And I'm not sure how his spring training was. I'm going to try to see if how he did in spring training, but still a threat for sure. Still a really good player, but has been known to have some bad games from time to time. Uh, what's going on? Bob Melvin on the Bob Melvin train. Anybody concerned about Webb's arm strength? Wade hit 220 and he's third. Supposed to be best hitter spot. It's an interesting, uh, interesting lineup for sure. I mean, it's not the lineup I would have put, but you know, hopefully the order is not as important as just the players in the lineup. You know, I've never been someone that thought the order was that big a deal. I know whenever I coached softball or baseball and people get mad, like, yeah, that lineup, you know, you lose the game 12, nothing. That was the lineup. Oh yeah. Cause if I would have made the lineup different, you know, we would have definitely won this game. But, um, I see that. Yeah. Normally, the third guy, I probably would have had Estrada, maybe. Um, yeah, just a better, better. you know, Wade is a good, obviously, Wade's a good on-base guy, though. Got to keep that in mind. And uh, last year, the first half, he was excellent. So, spring training for you, Darvish, by the way, three starts. He pitched well, nine and a third, ten strikeouts, gave up three runs, uh, nine hits. Just very, very solid. Nothing, nothing insane, but he was 2-0. and oh. So, Based on the spring training performances, um, it looks like you Darvish is, is a looking a little better, but I don't care about that anymore. I mean, that's just something to, to note, but we'll see how things go out there. Trout just home run. Remember, spring training stats mean as much as the Dodgers 2021 ring. Dodgers have a 2021 ring. Pretty sure that's the Atlanta Braves. I think you meant 2020. 2020. Um, was the year of the Dodgers, and it was also the weirdest year of all time. No stand, no no fans in the stands. Sixty game season. Um, I can completely understand why you wouldn't want to give that World Series championship full credit. I give them credit for it, but I think they really want a uh, actual championship that they can have a parade. They can have their own fans in the stands. They don't have to have their own fans in the stands when they win the World Series, but at least for some of the games. In this case, they played, they played every game in Texas, which, by the way, the All-Star game this year will be in Arlington, Texas. And uh, I will try to see if I can make it out to cover that. I didn't, uh, didn't make it last year to uh, Seattle. Uh, Otani won't play much this season. Suspension incoming. I saw Pete Rose interview on Otani. What? I don't know about that, man. Suspension incoming. I don't know about that. But I do need to make another video and on an update on what's going on with that situation. I have not made too many. Uh, I just made actually one video on that situation and when it first broke. And I haven't really update, made any update videos. But I don't think he's going to get suspended myself, at least not this year. These things take time. Investigations, they're going to push that off. They're going to try to push that off as long as they can. And um, investigations take time. We'll find out exactly what the deal was. If Otani was, I don't think Otani was gambling. Everybody says he doesn't gamble. 
It wasn't it. I do think it was the interpreter. A lot of people think the interpreter's taking the fall for Otani. Otani was the one doing it. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I believe that, but what the wait and find out the details when they come out. Uh, what did Otani do again? Uh, millions of dollars were sent in Otani's name to an illegal bookmaker in California because you're not allowed to bet on gambling in California. They have some illegal bookmakers. I don't even know why you would bet on sports in California. Just drive to Nevada. It's not very far, but anyway, I digress. They were sending a lot of money, millions of dollars. Otani's money was being sent to this illegal gambling, um, legal, legal gambling bookmaker. But it turned out it was apparently his interpreter, Ipe, who was behind that and making the bets. At first, Ipe said that Otani helped him out, paid off his debts. Less than 24 hours later, that story changed. No, 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 no. Otani didn't even know about this. The money was stolen. The money was stolen. Now the money was stolen, evidently. So now we're just waiting to find out what's going on. Um, you should read the Otani news, Kayla, or watch a video about it. Hum Baby made a video. Both are involved. I didn't hear that part. Even if Otani play, paid off interpreter debt, it's against the NFL. Yeah, yeah. If he paid off the interpreter debt, but it wasn't baseball betting, there was nothing baseball, just football, soccer, he'll probably get fined. He'll probably get fined. He could be in trouble legally if they decide to go after him, but they probably won't. Um, I don't think he's going to miss a game. I don't think he's going to miss a game. Yeah, they changed the story. They're saying now that Otani had the money stolen from him by Ipe. So we're going to have to wait for the details. But as of now, I think Curtis B., I don't think he's going to miss a game. I don't think he's going to – MLB doesn't want him to miss a game. He's their man. He's their biggest star. They like him. They didn't like Bauer. They don't like some of these other guys. They, they don't mind them being out of the game. But Otani's their biggest dude. That's – so, you know, uh, but something doesn't add up. How did he get access to Otani's bank account without Otani knowing? You mean to tell me Otani found out at the same time we all did? Otani didn't know this guy was deep in debt gambling. Otani didn't know any of his money was sent there. His money people didn't tell him. His accountants didn't tell him. His, nobody noticed this. Something doesn't add up, but I don't know what. Something doesn't add up. Opening day, DK Reviews. Did you check out Ghostbusters? Frozen Empire. Even though... I hate y'all because I'm a Dodger fan. I'm excited for Jung Hoo Lee. I hope he hits a homer in his first A B. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, jumping in and being polite. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Dobbs Hamdi Da. Okay. I do appreciate you. The story doesn't make sense. Oh, apparently Otani got a gambling scandal. Yeah. I'm guessing nothing will happen um but then again stories change and evolve and more information comes out this could something could fall it could be crazy there could be a massive scandal mid-season could be a suspension could be banned for life they could find out he bet on baseball that's worst case worst case worst case is he bet on baseball best case is it he really didn't know and the money was stolen and Somehow that guy got a hold of his money and nothing will happen to him. Most likely somewhere in the middle, he probably gets fined. He probably gets fined and he's a multi-gajillionaire. Um, shit going to get swept under the rug faster than a bachelor pad dust bunny. There you have it. Strict rule on any gambling. I don't know how strict it is because there have been players who have been caught gambling, but not on baseball. Who was it? Was it Co Was it not Zach? Was it Zach Cozart? Um, I can't remember who it was who got in trouble for gambling and he got fined. Um, Jared Cozart, not, not, was it Jared, Jared Cozart, right? Or was it Zach Cozart? I don't remember. Somebody, um, I think it was Jared Cozart and, uh, he got fined. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. I could be getting mixed up with someone else. 
Um, shit's going to get swept under the rug. We got who gets the first hit this season for the Giants. I'm going to say it's going to be Jung Hoo Lee right off the bat. Jung Hoo Lee is going to hit a base hit to, to right field right off the bat. Maybe his interpreter took a peek of Otani's access of passcode bank account. Maybe, but just crazy that nobody would have noticed. I know Otani doesn't do all of his own finances. So Otani hasn't even filed a police report on missing 4 million bucks. He didn't get a huge first contract at 4 million and missing. I wouldn't notice. Yeah, I might notice that too, but I don't have 4 million. I'd notice if a dollar was missing. I stress out. I'm doing my accounting. I'm like, why is it off? Why is it off 12 cents? And I got to find out why. I got to find out where that cents went. And I always find it out. Usually just some typo that I made or I, something Something I forgot, something went wrong, but I always find out where every penny, every penny is accounted for. Every penny is accounted for. Um, It's not like MLB won't blacklist a huge star, even if innocent remembers Shoeless Joe. Yeah, you are right. Of course, that was back in the day. But in that case, um, if you, uh, I don't know if y'all remember, I don't, I don't remember it vaguely back in 1919, I'm a little hazy on that. But anyway, um, what happened was they all, through the World Series, they still played the next year in 1920. People don't remember that because we weren't alive. But they played the next year in 2020, 2020, 1920, and then they got suspended for life. They got they got banned for life. So even then, it took about a year of investigations, of waiting on trials. Things take time. Otani's all said he can't speak English, then got caught speaking English. Oh, he speaks English. You need a 2024 hype video. I just played one to open the stream. You're welcome to rewind the stream to the beginning or go to check out my website because of my website, my uh, my uh, my YouTube channel. I have a website too, but it's on the YouTube channel. Um, and I made a 2024 hype video. I've made one every year. This is the fourth annual, right? 2020, 21, 22, 23. This is the fifth annual. Five hype videos. Time flies on the Hum Baby Baseball channel. Um, Jung Hoo Lee can speak a little bit of English more than Otani. Yes, he still needs a translator. Let's go, Giants. He can speak a little English for sure. Um, thank you, Curtis B. Like the hype video. We don't play. We got the hype video. Um, but yeah, so I I really wasn't sure when I went to bed last night if Joey Bart would be on this team. When I woke up, I kind of had a feeling that they would go ahead and DFA him, try to sneak him through waivers. But they are carrying three catchers right now. The end of the season, this team will look not even remotely similar to this roster. It's so crazy. Um, but the turnover is is wild. Um, I would say some of these guys will probably be hurt at some point. Some of them will get DFA'd. Some of them will get shuffled up and down and end up in AAA. Some of them might even get traded. But um, this team will not look anything like this. Uh, about 100-something players will pass through this team this year. But I'm really happy with this opening day roster for sure. And keep in mind, Robbie Ray's on the way. Robbie Ray and Cobb. So get your corn ready because Cobb is on the way. But right now, I would say we have Jordan Hicks just through five strong 10 strikeouts against the Oakland A's in Oakland at the Coliseum. Jordan Hicks looks absolutely stellar. Kyle Harrison is dominating, looking sick right here. And if um, Logan Webb pitches well tonight, and we know that Blake Snell is already here, ready to go once his turn comes up, he just needs a few more days to prep. Um, so about, about a week he'll be back. Uh, the rotation looks solid to start the year, not to mention Keaton Wynn holding on at the end. So, we should be fine. And um, the bullpen with with Eric Miller, good good mix of guys here with uh, lefties, Eric Miller, Taylor Rogers, righties, Tyler, and Luke Jackson. And then, of course, Camilo Doval shutting out these games. I do expect a very solid start to this year. But today's going to be a fun one right here. Always opening day is the most exciting game. And other than, you know, like a, a pennant race late in the year, opening day is what it's all about. This is how, this is where we get our first indication. Now, keep in mind, 2021 started with a terrible game where the Giants lost to the Mariners. The Mariners came from behind, somehow won, but the Giants ended up winning 107 games. So we can't take this game too seriously. It's just one game. But um, 
What kind of information does Slater have on Farhan to make this team every freaking year? Um, you know, Slater's just he's he's the team veteran at this point. He's been here for a while. They I guess they like his power. I guess they like his uh ability to come in and kind of play any position in the outfield. And I, I but other than that, I mean he doesn't pinch hit. He's just, I mean, doesn't pinch hit. He can pinch hit, he doesn't switch hit. So he's strictly right-handed batter, hit uh just 167 in spring training with no home runs, went three for 18 with 12 strikeouts. Um, I don't know what happened in spring training, but yeah, he struck out almost every time he stepped up to the plate, had a really bad spring training. And if he was anyone else other than, you know, the guys, the obvious guys, if he was like uh, a borderline guy, there's no way he'd be on this team. But at this point in time, I'm pretty sure he's been out of options for a while. I can't really send him down. Um, he's exceeded his rookie limits a long time ago, and he's in arbitration right now. So I think the Giants just wanted to hang on to him. But he did hit 270 last year, only five homers. We'll see, man. This this is probably the last year for Austin Slater here with his eighth season in Major League Baseball. Can I televise the game or is it copyright? I can't televise the official broadcast. One thing I've been researching is, is it legal to go to a game and film the game and broadcast that. I don't know. And I, from what I understand it, it should be okay. That's your own footage. You know, that's your own, um, you know, and, and, and I would thinking of doing that on some, some like minor league games, some college games, something like that, just to, just to see how that goes. But, you know, there used to be back in the day, they didn't televise every game. Now pretty much every game is televised or you could stream it uh, somewhere. But back when I was growing up, every game wasn't televised. Some of them you had to listen to the radio. Nowadays, they televise pretty much every game somewhere. And sometimes it's blacked out. Um, but, yeah, I would like to, like, stream some games. And not just – not just. I would like to get a, a somewhat professional setup where I can have, like, cameraman in center, cameraman behind the plate, and then I'm calling the game – and we, we, we broadcast the baby. That'd be sick, dude. That'd be sick. Um, I just don't want to get sued. Uh, so hyped for this season, which I don't think I would get sued. I think they would just be like, hey, you're not allowed to do that. Uh, at least we aren't rained out today like Atlanta. Oh, yeah, I heard Atlanta got delayed their game till tomorrow. And there should be parades in all cities. But Orange Customs, I'm going to. Think, I'm thinking about trying that, like the lower level minor league games or uh, some college games. Love to see that, Eric. And, and I've already figured out some ways to do it because I've already got some good camera angles um, and a really good camera that will zoom from center field. It looks really sharp, looks really good. And then someone else from behind the plate to follow the ball. And then, then the play-by-play. -play. And, and I think it can be done. I think it can be done. And I think some colleges might appreciate it because they don't they don't always get to stream every game. They might appreciate it because their streams are garbage. Most college streams are garbage. Um, you see the whole field, you can't even see anything. Uh, but yeah, 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 yeah. We're ready to go. Padres already played two games. Yeah, they did it against the Dodgers in Seoul, Korea. You know, which is uh I lived in South Korea for almost a year and a half or over a year. And uh, been to Seoul many times. Really nice. Um, been to, uh, I lived actually more south though. South of there. South, south is part of South Korea. But really enjoyed my time there. Um, would love to go back. But uh, I don't get to go free anymore like I did when I was in the army. Home baby road to 40Ks. Moving to Oregon this summer. Any info on the Emeralds? Yeah, the Emeralds, let's, che let's check them out. Um, they should have a really exciting roster. Uh, if they've already, I don't let's see if they got, and they do have some names here could change at some point, but right now the, uh, the Emeralds, which I, I, I need to make it to a game there. Will Bednar, hopefully he's back healthy because he has been just having a hard time staying healthy for one of our top picks right here. Reggie Crawford, first, uh, pick for us here. First round pick. Let's see how he does. Um, Carson Ragsdale 
is there. Eric Silva's got great stuff, really good arm. Ty Weber's a good arm. Uh, O'Neal Perez has made it has made it there. Adrian, this guy is, was in camp, was in uh, spring training. So I don't know. I, he's sent all the way down to high A for now. Brett Auerbach is, is, is and, and Artiaga, both really good names. Keep an eye on Luis Toribio. Holy cow! You know he's a he's a. I, I thought he was double A, triple A by now. Uh now Jared Dupree. This dude has big power. I think he played like at a, a Division two or a smaller college. I, I don't remember, but he's uh he's amazing. Carter Howell's got good power. Matt Higgins got good power. Grant McRae is amazing. Jairo Pomares. All these guys were with San Jose last year. They will probably move up to double A pretty quick. This move over will be quick, especially after the draft, but. Yeah, no, this team looks stacked right here. This team looks stacked. Eugene Emeralds, definitely. Nice, nice preview right there. Thanks for, for that. Um, the Eugene Emeralds are the high A affiliate for the Giants. I think one day this year, Eric, and I might go to see the Modesto Nuts. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll be in Modesto. Um, I mean, I'll be at the game. I live in Eugene. They are playing at the University of Oregon field, but are looking to build a stadium. Really, they play the. I didn't know they play the University of Oregon field. They don't have their own stadium. What? Really? That's nuts. They play at the University of Oregon field. I thought they had their own. I thought they had a really nice stadium, PK Park. You're absolutely right, PK Park. That's insane. Wow. I, I, I don't, they share it, huh? They share the ballpark. That's interesting. They need to build their own. Random thought. Can we all agree that Manny Machado is the biggest baby? MLBs, I was just thinking about him today. Like, uh, he used to be really known as a punk. I really didn't like him. But I thought lately he's doing a, a little better. Bryce Eldridge, uh, he's not on that roster. He very well could be on the double-A roster. The Flying Squirrels. I bought a... I, I I I was debating buying a Flying Squirrels fitted cap, and I finally broke down and did it, and then I lost it. Then I lost it. And I lost it out in the world, never to be seen again. So I need to buy a replacement. But let's get to the team here. This is the double A Flying Squirrels. Hayden Birdsong is one of our top dudes. Seth Corey was one of our top dudes. He's been hurt, though. We'll see if he can bounce back. But, yeah, these guys are on their way. Some of these guys might pitch for the Giants this year. Look for them this year. Jimmy Glowinky, top guy exciting. Will Wilson, we've had him since. Holy crap. He's been in the organization since, I, I want to say, we got him from the Angels in 2019. And he's been all over the minor leagues and still hasn't – made his big league debut. Logan Wyatt, he's so-so, first baseman. Vaughn Brown, big power. Ismael Munguia, massive pop. He had a great spring training. He might he almost made the team. And Hunter Bishop needs to get stop getting hurt, stay healthy, and let's go. Arizona State product, he was one of the best there, and he, he was supposed to be an absolute beast. I was high on Hunter Bishop. He can't even get out of single A. But we'll see. He's on the double A roster, so we'll see. Very nice. Eugene is high A. Yes, Will Wilson. 18 minutes, first pitch, ladies and gents. We got to, uh, yeah, yeah, Machado. Straight punk. Straight punk. I'm just messing with Machado, man. I never met him, man. Maybe he's cool, but. So let's go ahead and um, how's this game going to go? I mean, obviously, I'm a Giants fan, right? I got to predict the Giants, but. I, I don't know, man. It's it's all up to Webb. I understand for people who don't have faith in Webb because Logan Webb did not have a great spring training. But um, I'm going to say that Webb goes out there and gets it done. I'm going to say the adrenaline uh, helps him along. He'll probably give up a couple runs. I'm going to say the Giants also score some runs. And I think it's going to be a tight one, maybe relatively low scoring. I'm going to say the Giants take it 5-4. to four. The final score in this one, 5-4. For San Francisco. I've got it on the dot before several times when I make predictions. I have gotten on the dot. Post game. Oh, yeah. It definitely is gonna should be a post game. We should have a post game. So thank you guys. 42 in the chat. 
Webb goes seven. Play by play. I haven't even checked on my, uh, uh, you know, the, the game, and I got to get it on the TV. I got to get it going. But uh, Brian Fisher, let's go Giants! Uh, thank you guys, everybody, for being here. We are ready to rock and roll. It's the San Francisco Giants taking on the San Diego Padres. Uh, maybe we check out a couple of the rosters here. Some quick minor league previews. We checked out a couple, and I don't. If you don't mind? I just want to run through here. Low A, just what it looks like now. These could change. These not only could, but they will. Dylan Cumming, I have a video of him on my uh, Prospects channel. He's he's awesome. Jorge Garcia's got great stuff. Kale Lanceville, a recent uh, draft. Really good stuff. Julio Rodriguez of our own. We got Julio Rodriguez, too. He ain't, he ain't, he ain't as good as the other one, but he can, he can pitch. Um, this guy here, Esmiro Vincio, uh, Vinicio, really good arm, good relief pitcher. Jack Payton, I think he went to Fresno State. Very solid, good hitting catcher. Cole Foster's a beast. Um, look for him to do big things. Charlie's and Coney's got power. Scott Bandura's got big pop. Jonah Cox out of where did he go? He went to Oral Roberts. Bryce Eldridge, our guy right there, Bryce Eldridge. Can't wait to see him this year. And uh, got a little bit of footage of him last year. Look, looking forward to seeing him even more this year. That's the San Jose Giants right there. And last but not least is the Sacramento River guy. These are guys who are going to be right here, ready to help. Nick Avila almost made the team. Mason Black was expected to make the team. Didn't pitch well in spring training, but he's got great stuff, got high velocity. Um, so he'll be ready. Spencer Howard, I wanted to make the team, but he's here for some depth. Spencer Howard is a top prospect with the Phillies a couple years back. Expect him to, to, to get promoted if he pitches well down there when we need him. Juan Sanchez, a great arm. Just throwing out some guys that I that I noticed. Kai Wei Tang we've had for a while. Chris Wright's got great stuff. Cole Waits, we all know about him. But we might have to wait on him for a few months. Um, and, yeah, Cooper Hummel. Uh, I think he got DFA'd, but uh, maybe not. I guess he's, he's on the roster. Jackson Reitz. Uh, and then Marco Luciano, I, Marco Luciano, two of them. We got two. We got Justin. We we fit, I think they figured that the thing about the the reasoning there was he's such a, a good prospect and got such a great swing that the Giants went ahead and cloned him, figuring if one of them gets hurt, then we have the other one. So that's why we have two Marco Lucianos. They both wear the same number. They're just straight up clones. One of them stays home. The other one plays, and then they swap the next day. That way, if they get hurt, something happens. You know, we got the other one. Casey Schmidt, David VR, Donovan Walton, Brett Wisely, Yusniel Diaz has got a great bat. Can't wait to see him. Luis Matos, Wade Meckler, Chase Pender, and Elliot Ramos. Let's freaking go. So cutting edge. We don't play around. Red Sox fan, Mr. Gray Ghost. Red Sox, yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all gonna have to surprise this year. You've done it before. Red Sox have been a team that is not favored to do well, coming off a rough year, and all of a sudden they go and win the division. Red Sox are an unpredictable team. There have been years where people thought they're gonna be great, and they were horrible. And they do seem to bounce back from terrible seasons. The Red Sox, um, I didn't predict them to do well, but I never count out the Red Sox. You just never know what's gonna happen. I don't know where Sable's at, but he didn't make the roster. Rivercats beat up on the Giants, but I, I mean, a part of that was the pitching. Giants didn't exactly throw out their best pitcher, and the Rivercats threw out Mason Black. Are oh, you going to Rivercats opening day? When is that? Let's check out the schedule. When is that? Had to download it. Okay. I'm seeing it now. The opening day is tomorrow. Is it tomorrow? Holy crap. Minor League Baseball begins in Sacramento. 
tomorrow against Salt Lake. So three game series against Salt Lake. That's nice. Then they head off on the road to Reno, back home against El Paso. Um, they're doing that six game series now in the minor leagues because of COVID. They started doing that and they just kept on doing it. I don't know if I like it. In a way, it's cool, but it's yeah, you know, kind of like the traditional three game, normal three game series. But it is what it is. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I didn't see that game either, but I did look at the stats afterwards. Tomorrow, if it doesn't get rained out, it is on tomorrow. Some clone, Marco Luciano. What? Hey, I just looking at the roster. They had two of them, so I just assumed that they made a clone. But we're ready to go, ladies and gentlemen. I got the Giants taking this one five to four. Thank you all for the amazing support. It's going to be a crazy year right here, and uh, we are ready for it all day long. Yeah, Sable was sent down. I don't see him on any rosters, but the rosters are still updating. Um, thank you again for the super chat. Jason Corona has uh, pretty much said this stream was sponsored by Jason Corona. That's a big 20 right there. 20, 20 is massive. In YouTube dollars, that is huge. I got to make, you know, viral videos sometimes make 20 or 30 bucks. Seriously, like, uh, not viral, viral, but like from my standards. Uh, Mr. Gray, thank you, AM Echo, Jenny, Cali, Oki, the Cali, Oki connection. Um, that's okay, because the River Cats are going to be heading your way in a couple weeks. And Kayla is here. Kaiser Soze. Kaiser Soze. Sables in AAA, they posted him on their TikTok. Okay, okay, okay. They need to update their rooster here. I don't see him. Oh, no, he's there. I just, I didn't see him, but he's there. He's on the roster. I just totally, I just totally missed it, but he's, he's on their roster. Um, but I'll let you guys prep for the game. Whoa! Ten gifties. Ten gifties for Bo Falcon has just gifted ten memberships. Now I have to do some membership stuff. Holy Moses. Thank you so much for that. That is amazing. Did not see that one coming, ladies and gentlemen. I do appreciate it. Um, I'm trying to see if I can find out who got gifted these memberships so we can give some shout outs here. Kaiser Soze gifted a membership. Curtis B., Gifted a membership. Kayla, gifted a membership. Orange Customs, gifty. Matthew, gifty. Big Wheeze, gifty. King Yellow Man, gifty. Snuckster, gifty. By Victor One, gifty. And Haley Katz, a gifty. Let's freaking go. Oh, thank you so much. You love the hat. I appreciate that. Got a Scottsdale pin. You can't really see him. I got a Route 66 pin right here, and I got a uh, another Scottsdale, I think, pin. A couple of pins from Scottsdale, and one here from uh, a Route 66 Arizona pin. But um, love the generosity, love the support. I do appreciate it. Bo Falcon is one of the biggest supporters of the channel, and and it's been a slow uh, last month or so after I got back from spring training. I was really sick. I was very ill for a couple weeks. Um, and that's why I didn't do hardly any, uh, team previews. I didn't do hardly any collaborations, but I did do one with the Dodgers, um, with my man who, um, his name I forgot at the moment, but it is on my channel, the Dodgers preview, Jenny Vega uh, set that up. So we did have that collaboration. Um, but, uh, check that out on the channel. He, he does a great things. He does great things. Um. Oh, talking uh, Dodgers. Thank you, Jason Coro Cor Corona. Jason Corona, 10 gifties. Oh, my goodness. So we have more shout outs. I, I, I don't even know what to say. I got tears coming. AM Echo Sky, Iggy Vibes. Jason Corona has matched it. Bob Best, Robert Hamilton. Oh, my goodness. Frank. Pellegrino or Pe Pele Pe Pellegrino, sorry, Frank Pellegrino, Chris Perkins, Shireen Chu, 10 pack, the GOAT 415 with a gifty, Steve Chowser, longtime supporter, and Aaron Summers as well. Oh my goodness. Shout out to all of you. Thank you so much. 
We have new members, and we'll have a members video tomorrow. Tomorrow. we got. I got some stories to tell about some spring training adventures. No way. Thank you so much, Jason Corona. Shout out to you. Opening day is here. Check out my song. It's on the channel as well called Opening Day. Search Hum Baby Baseball Opening Day should come up. Um, uh, also, the hype video from this morning is on my channel right now. We have a 20 from D Porter. 20 from D Porter. Says, hey, all, it's finally here. Let's have a great season. Looking forward to you after game recaps. After the game. Eric, they are the best. It's D Porter with the super chat. And th this is insane. This is insane. And hopefully the Giants go out and take care of business and we can uh, do this again after. I don't know why I'm holding a screwdriver. After the game. But um, absolutely amazing. The matching, the gifties. There's the Deporter super chat right there. That looks like an actor. Can't think of his name, but I know who that is. It looks like an actor. Um, he's in. He was in the Napoleon movie, right? That's the guy from Napoleon and and all kind of movies. Um, obviously, uh, he's been in so many movies. I can't. I can't think of him for some reason. Uh, gelling like a felon, bow for the gifty. Let's freaking go. Maybe it's just. I can, it's real small, so I can barely see it. Thank you for the gifties. Thank you for the, uh, oh, Alex Ovechkin. Oh, okay, okay, Alex Ovechkin. It's not who I thought it was. That's a that's a hockey player. I thought it was, uh, uh, you know who it looked like from, it looked like, uh, oh, I can't find his name. Oh, my goodness. Joaquin Phoenix. I thought it was Joaquin Phoenix, but it was too small. Yeah, I thought it was Joaquin Phoenix. Uh, that's who it looked like to me. No. Uh, thank you, Jenny Vega. Thank you do so much. Uh, Jelly went to IL in early spring training. Oh, no. D Porter, everybody. I'm going to let you all go so you can watch the game, but we'll talk to you after the game. Thank you, guys. Jason Corona, Jenny Vega, new member. Bo Falcon, 10 gifties. Jason Corona, 10 gifties. D Porter, this was a... Uh, extremely successful stream and we're going to have another one after the game. Thank you guys again. Have a great day. And, uh, I, I will talk to you very, very soon. Thank you so much. Um, I won't play it again here, but if you want to check it out, it's on my channel, the most recent video, the SF giants hype video. So feel free to check that out on the channel. Hopefully we'll be playing some bye-bye baby in the next two or three hours. Until then, we will see you guys after the game. Urgh.